like a little mini video on Instagram. This is where Kevin then becomes Flawless Kevin. His bedroom is also his TV studio, where he shoots, edits, and stars in videos that entertain <clears throat> hundreds of thousands of fans on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I decided to do the infamous spicy ramen challenge, and I've actually- Flawless Kevin kind of evolved, and that's kind of a persona that became Flawless Kevin throughout the years, throughout experience, through a bunch of hate and learning and growing and just experiencing life on the internet and outside. Ah, oh, the drop, this is good. As a student at UW Bothell, he double majored in media and communications and gender sexuality and women's studies. It really went together and it really helped me make my LGBT content too because I gained a lot of knowledge in that major and I transferred it over into my YouTube videos. If you're new to my channel, then hello, my name is Kevin. While I beat my face. In a week, I film about five makeup videos and probably one to two YouTube videos. Yes, girl, yes. I have over 240,000 followers that are depending on my content and, you know, making their day. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Whoosh. I feel like a lot of people think I'm super hyper. My lashes are gonna come off, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and super childish. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. It's, oh, it's starting already. <gasps> and cringy off camera like I am on camera. <gasps> what? But the thing is, I feel that the persona you put on camera is a little bit like an overplayed version of yourself. Okay. Another tip I have for you is to prioritize school first. But for me, I feel that on camera, a switch just flips and it kind of gets my gears going and makes me feel a little bit more bubbly and out there. But in real life, I feel that I'm so, I feel like I'm a grandma at heart, honestly. Like my friends want to go out and I'll be like, what time is it at? And they're like 10 p.m. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I'll pass. I'll sit at home and watch anime with my sister. And then I will. He shoots his Instagram makeup wow. tutorials on the Boom. floor in another spot in his bedroom. Sure. Now I can turn on the light. Boom. Look how fancy and snazzy that is. And always blend, my children. Always blend. It's a careful mix of makeup tips, life lessons, and lots of humor. If you ever make a mistake in life, I just say blend it away. You know, maybe. Your boyfriend broke up with you, blend him away, okay? And the whole reason why I started talking in my Instagram videos was because I felt that I wasn't the best at makeup necessarily. And so in whatever I lacked in, I made up for in humor. Now, eyebrows are literally everything. They frame your face, they shape everything. And also I call my eyebrows my boyfriends because who needs a boyfriend when you have your eyebrows? Mm -hmm. Then it's time to edit so. where he adds finishing touches. Hello, 911. Yes, I'm on fire. Who needs A lot of the editing in this is just piecing the clips together in the tutorial and then also the comedic effects of maybe like a zoom in or like a silent pause and like just taking away the background music that way. It just adds that, it adds that good comedic timing effect. I have a YouTube video done and then I'll put it on Instagram, change the link in my bio and then I'll tweet about it and then I'll post about it on YouTube community tab and then I'll post a comment on the actual video and pin it and then I would probably reply to some when I have time but goodness it is it is you got to be transmedia oh I don't want my brush not here girl <clears throat> I'm gonna gonna improvise I feel that no matter what type of video I'm doing whether it's makeup fashion k-pop LGBT when you watch a video of mine what I want people to take away and what I want people to get value of is that if he can be a boy and wear makeup on the internet, then I can be a boy and paint my nails. If he can be a boy and wear girl clothes on the internet and out in public, then I can be a girl and cut my hair short. I want people to get value that they can be who they are and be resilient and strong and confident in who they are no matter what, because I can do it. And I wanna be that living proof that if I can do it, they can too. Mm. My makeup's still okay though, I'm not crying. Just gonna leave this lip color on, it's cute. But I think that is all I have to say. Remember everyone, you are beautiful the way you are. And until next time, I love you all so much. And remember, to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye! 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 I feel like there is more room to grow. There's still potential to be even a better flawless Kevin.